What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, yesterday in my video, I talked about how I want to do a run with the Hunter today. And I am very committed to that because I want to show people that he's actually a lot better than they realize. Because um, there's been a lot of discussion about how bad he is lately. And I'm, I've always been a staunch Hunter defender. So um, it'd be my great esteem to show a new audience of people how good he can be. I definitely, I consider him personally one of the better skulls in the game. I also really like taking him with the monkey because um, these are both skulls that people don't have very high opinions of generally. And um, I don't know. I, I think they're misjudged personally. I think these these two skulls are uh, are a little misunderstood because I think something that people don't do enough in Skull the Hero Slayer is swap. I think most players probably don't swap ever. Um, and these are both skulls that are very good swappers, so... Like, uh... It's, it's very, um... It, it's something I've been very vigilantly trying to teach people to do in this game ever since I started making videos on it. It's just, like, swap more, because it's one of the most powerful things you can do in the game. It's just consistently swapping between your skulls. And, um... These are two skulls who a lot of people don't have very high opinions of, and I think people's opinions would skyrocket of these two if people would just start doing that one simple thing so let's see if i can change some people's minds today on hunter um because i, I just i wish people had a better opinion overall of this skull i think he's very good and we even started with what i consider to be his best skill i don't even say why I, it is his best skill uh multi-shot it deals so much damage it's so powerful it has a really good concentration payoff at a legendary. Not that I really ever concentrate much with Hunter, but like occasionally if I see an opportunity on Hunter, I concentrate. And whenever uh, I have multi-shot, it makes it even better because it's it's so powerful when it's concentrated at legendary. This guy's being annoying though. Uh, I'm going to take a lot of Imers here at the start just to get a good feel of where this run's going to end up. But I have a good feeling about this run, since, you know, I'm trying to teach people about something. And, uh, I don't know, maybe the game will be very generous because of that. I know the game is sentient and all, and it knows what's happening, and it's like, uh, if Hax is trying to tell people something, maybe I'll go easy on him and actually give him good shit today. But, also, at the same time, the game likes uh, to make you suffer, so... Who knows what it's gonna do? We'll find out as we continue. None of these items are inspiring me, though. But it's only the first few items we're getting, so it doesn't really mean anything. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Definitely want some mutant on this run, I think. Get some powerful mutant effects, maybe, if we're lucky. Multidimensional prism would be sweet. Uh, I'm not committed to the monkey. I think I'm definitely committed to the uh, to the hunter, because like. I did get rid of him in yesterday's episode when I was talking him up so much. And I need to show people why I have such a high opinion of this uh, character. I'll say one thing for sure. In the very early game, and I think I brought this up yesterday, but in the very early game, he's an excellent skull to bring along because of his swap. It's an instant attack. It deals a ton of damage. It's just good. Uh, also, I'll buy this Baja Blast. See if we can get something good up here. That's not good on Hunter. It is a good item across the board. Uh, I'll take it. It's fine. And it can also be good on Hunter. I don't tend to take too much advantage of the distance mechanics on Hunter. I don't know why I picked that up. I guess I'm just... It'll make my life a little easier in the short term. But um, I don't tend to take too much advantage of the distance mechanics on Hunter. I just find him to be a very good... Um... Like, I don't know. I think he's very good at just... Uh, swapping and um, and coming in and dealing a bunch of damage and then swapping out. So you, in my humble opinion, you don't need to, unless uh, I would say if you're building a striker, a strike run or something, you should pay particular attention to um, how much distance you have. But um, otherwise, I just don't find it to be too important. I have a very unique approach on Hunter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let me grab that. Give me these bone shards. Where are we at right now? 11 bone shards? I'm going to upgrade the monkey. 
it you definitely uh there's a thing that i used to say and i've seen people say in my comment section where it's like it's free to upgrade a uh a common to rare you even gain a bone shard is what people say and i used to say this too it's not true um you have to consider the opportunity cost of not immediately breaking a common skull which gives you five bone shards you actually lose four bone shards by upgrading a common to rare so you have to consider that when you're um when you're assessing how many bone shards it takes it's definitely um a tip that like i like you know i said at one point it's a fair thing to think but um it's not true so if you ever have a uh common skull and you just if you want to upgrade them to rare just to make the game a little easier that's perfectly fair i'm going to take this omen um but just understand that uh it does not make you or it's not a free thing to do it does cost you so now we have the masterpiece omen definitely sets me down a path <laughs> where the path leads we'll see <laughs> death possibly but it's worth trying i'm gonna keep going oh my god why <laughs> every i swear to god every time i'm like i'm gonna keep going because even though i saw something good there what if there's something better beyond every time i have that thought in my head i just get doomsday i swear it's like so consistent it happens so much <laughs> it's always doomsday I swear to God. I was hoping I'd see a Masterpiece item here. Um, I'm just going to take the Baja Blast. Man, dude. What a fucking world. What a fucked up day. So far, the run's good, though. Um, we'll see how I feel about this omen as we progress. This is not a Skull Room, right? Because, like... I do want to do this hunter run, but if I see a dupe, I'm taking the dupe, of course. Okay, it's not. Well, in that case, we don't let the remaining one out of his cage. Did I open a treasure chest in here? People will scream if I don't. I did, okay. Alright then. Moving along. Hiya! Okay, yeah, I'm really glad I took that Mana Eater. I'm so glad. It deals... Like, that's... I actually think I have been sleeping on Mana Eater as an item. I actually think it might secretly be a very, very good item. Not even just on certain runs, but just like a good item in general. Because it deals a ton of damage. Way more than I thought it did. I never really considered it uh, too highly. And it has, like, Mana Cycle on it, too, which is, like, a really good inscription, so... I think I'm actually going to re-roll my monkey at least once here. Because I have one skill I don't care about. You know, like, I, I don't care about uh, the current skill monkey has. I want Heaven Earth Slam. That'll do, actually. I have 2k. You know what? One more. Heaven Earth Slam, please. Ho ho ho! That get, makes it me way more likely to keep this monkey, actually. If you guys were looking forward to a monkey run, this might be the one. The one thing that scares me about Monkey is Phase 1 Alexander. I cannot swap into the Monkey a lot of the time. If there's laser beams, especially the vertical ones, on the screen, and I try swapping into the Monkey, he's going to go hurtling into them, and he will not be able to stop. And uh, they're impassable. You have to dash through them. He will be stuck on it, and he will just, like, shred his HP instantly. And that's very fucking terrifying. For the record, um, I don't think we're going to be stuck in this Yegi fight for very long. Based on what I'm seeing, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's a chance in hell that he gets to ult here. Ow. Kind of like that, except way worse. Because <laughs> if I were. It, it, for what? Keep in mind, um, Legendary Monkey Swap, he, like, just goes and goes. Like, he doesn't. He, he like goes flying across the entire fucking screen and uh yggdrasil brambles are passable objects like i can um i can walk through them i don't have to dash through them at least i think whereas the alexander laser beams are not you fucking have to dash definitely not taking this
I've learned my lesson about fucking strike. You know, you you try and be a changed man, new patch, new me, and all that. I gave strike a chance, and it fucking failed. It it failed my test. So, I me and me and strike are not on good terms right now. I'm sure eventually I'll get over it, but right now I'm pissed. And also, I'm trying to show people that Hunter is good. I'm not going to soil that with a fucking strike build, which is probably just going to low roll and then I'll lose. Oh my god! Oh my god. My fucking idiotic ass, dude. Why'd I do that? Cannot believe I just st stood there like a fucking idiot, walking into the damaging. And I have this fucking omen on me, man. Holy fuck. Okay, now I gotta be really, 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 really careful moving forward. We're also going to continue to lose HP because of, uh... Because of the, um... The ambition. Where is this? Oh, you're behind him. Cheating! Man, that was horrible. Okay, I'm just gonna let you pop off. It's not worth it. Oh, you're the Dark Elite! Uh, I can't believe I missed with that. Oh. Okay, what's my max HP? 150 still? Can it not go below 150? No, it can, 100%. I don't know why it hasn't. Probably math reasons and I'm too stupid. Alright, whew. Shop? Shop. And a legendary chest. Get out of here. What do we have? Dog, what the fuck is this? Oops, all garbage. What? Why? Uh, pain and despair, I guess. Rapidity. Yeah, you can go. Bye. Um, I mean, there's a number of things I'm looking for here. None of this is it. I'll just continue to buy Baja Blast, though. This is fine. At this point, this can go. I'll buy Brawl on the pedestal. Brawl's really nice on Hunter. Uh, we have good damage, so... No uh, Masterpiece, which is really annoying and weird. I hope I didn't pass up a Masterpiece item there, actually. I may have. <gasps> okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I really hope this masterpiece works out, but if it doesn't, we'll just ditch it. But, like, I want that big, big damage. Oh, we're so fast. Alright, Pain and Despair. That's what's up, you know. I said you're... I did call you garbage, but you're... With Brawl, you're popping off at this current stage of the game. I appreciate it. Credit where it's due, pain and despair. Keep that pain and despair up. Alright, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Despite the roadblock so far, everything's coming up hack, so. Well, not everything, but. If it starts if the game starts giving me masterpiece, then then literally everything's coming up hack, so. Pretty simple adventurers as well. Especially depending on which aura the mage has. She has the shitty one. I hate this one. Especially with the fucking priestess. Who lays down even more layers of... Uh... Oh, she's dead. Never mind. <laughs> okay, it's not so bad, actually. But, like, priestess and that mage aura in particular can get very annoying. Uh, Do we have the solar sword? We don't. Heal me. How many times am I going to see this item? Treasure 3. We'll take it for now. It's it's going to help, for sure. Is there anything I can get rid of for this? This? <laughs> 
Uh... <laughs> now, this isn't a bad item, keep in mind. It's actually a pretty good item. The only issue is... I need... To build around it. I need some kind of... Or just revenge, I guess. But, like, that makes it harder to build Masterpiece. And I'm still focusing on this thing. I think... You know what? Fulgent Dawn, take a hike. That's my... That's my take. Fulgent Dawn, go on then. Take a hike. Get some fresh air, brother. Seed shot! We're swapping off that, I'll tell you right now. Uh, even if I don't end up with multi-shot, I don't care. I do not want seed shot. It's terrible. It's the one of the only negative things I can say about Hunter. And I will stand by this till the day I die. I have some people in my audience who, for whatever reason, really like seed shot. I don't know why. I think they're just trolling me. But either way, um, it's, t it's dog shit. So... And it was not fixed with the latest uh, changes to it either. The problems with Seed Shot are like mechanical problems, not um, like no amount of changes outside of changing how it fundamentally functions will fix it. It literally, if you, oh, here's my main issue with Seed Shot. If you cast it at Legendary, I, okay, I have a lot of problems with Seed Shot now that I'm really thinking about it, but the, the one I'm thinking of right now is if you cast it at Legendary, um, and you swap as soon as you cast it, it eats the entire thing. Like, you get nothing. So, that's stupid. But also, it gets worse the higher you... Like, unique seed shot on Hunter, like this here, this is the best it ever gets. Uncharged unique seed shot, not a bad skill. But, like, anything past that, it's so bad. It just, it gets worse. Here's the enabler, by the way, for this item here. Or it's one of the enablers. Revenge is also an enabler. Um, I'm still committed to a masterpiece, so I'm going to pass. Are you really doing this to me right now, game? Fuck you, game. Here's what I have to say about your adventure, Legendary. I'm going for masterpiece. See? All you got to do is slap the game around a little bit. And then it'll understand that it needs to stop... Uh, denying me my masterpiece. And yes, I sold Courage for that. I think we're going to be fine. I'll get Courage again later. I'm keeping the Gold Incense Burner because I need money. Like, if we're going to make this uh, master uh, masterpiece shit work, we need to uh, be very wealthy whenever we enter shops. And it appears that we've low-rolled our doors. So... The game is not being kind, but I'm still, I'm pushing through. I'm not letting the game get one over on me. Not today. Bye. As you can see, we're very strong. Like, we don't have anything to worry about until we get to the Liana Sisters. And all I have to worry about in Liana Sisters fight is me being bad at the game and fucking up my dodges and stuff. Money, please. All the money in the world. You can never have enough. Hiya! Alright, it's Leona time. But it's honestly just rubbing salt in the wound of my Laurel on my doors. Which I hate. I would love to have as many doors as possible, please. Alright, sisters. I have to go into focus mode because I have this omen and I'm very scared of them. Nothing will ever change my fear of this fight. Nothing. Not phase one though. Phase two. I have to do this the right way. Okay, that was really good. Okay, so we have the short his sister here. Uh, that's enough damage to her. Uh, is it? Uh, yes, I do. I have the rapid sword. Um, acceleration sword, I mean. If, if, that if that kills her, that would be terrible. That's more than enough damage to her. 
We should actually just legit stop from here. And it's her. See, this is problematic. Oh. I also have my um, warrior's uh, gauntlets that could fuck her up too. Okay, I procced it away from her. That's good. All right, one more round, please. Show me the long hair sister. If it's short hair sister here, I'll probably just kill her. And it's long hair sister. Patience is a virtue, children. Let me swap! Okay, that's good. I wish I wouldn't have taken the damage there at the end, but it's fine. Uh, I think this is an acceptable phase two. I really was hoping I wouldn't have to live through this. But she gave me a nice big pocket of air. So I think crisis averted. Unless I fuck up here. Oh, man. Alright. We had to live through two scary Leona sister moves. But it's fine. They didn't stand a chance. I'm too good. Bye. Get on my fucking face. I ain't got all day to wait around. I'm recording late. I'm on a time crunch. Let me in. No masterpiece. No, nothing, really. Break unique. No time to cry over spilled milk. We're at Masterpiece 3. Finger flick is pretty nice, actually. Spirit Negotiator, 100%. Um, last resistance, just in case I see Olive Tree Cudgel. I think that's the play. We're definitely going to do some Go-Getter shenanigans eventually, but... And you know what? Fuck it. Monkey commit. Bring out the boys. The squad. We got the two best skills as well. That's what's up. Not that I care much about any other skill besides Heaven or Slam, but like, at least this one's good. Ah, he's plate armor. Gross. Okay, no. I'm really lucky he's not summoning missiles. Definitely still need an ability swapper for my hunter. Like, even though I have multi shot, um, and that's great, uh, I do not, under any circumstances, want seed shot. Nothing will ever change my mind. Unless they fix it. And then I'll like it, probably. At least a little bit. Frankly, I just think Seed Shot needs to be remade entirely. Because, like, even if they fix my issues with it, there's still the problem of it just getting worse at Legendary. They need to, like, completely change how it functions at Legendary. If it worked more like it did in Unique, it would be so much better. Uh, you can stay in your cage, I think. There's not really anything I want duped. Well, okay. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. We need to fix our fucking items in the next uh, chopper item room, I see. Okay, let's do that right now. Um, I'm not taking any of this, but... I want this duped. I want this duped. And, frankly, that's a fine dupe too. Uh, I think I'll put this here instead. And move this here. Alright, good enough. Um, do I let you out? No. With Noman, no. But I will consider letting her out later. Please give me some Masterpiece. Thank you. We're close. We can get it in this shop if I'm lucky. Pain and Despair can go for now. I might pick it back up. Come on. Spirit Negotiator. Do it, dude. Bro, please. Come on. Oh! 
This is painful. I still need this, I think. We're not done. In fact, we need this for a while. So pain and despair, as good as it is, I think it's uh, disposable. We don't need it. And look! Oh my god, if I dupe the fucking masterpiece item, dude. Or the omen, I mean. I should have uh, juggled one of my other masterpiece items into the dupe slot. Or the higher potential dupe slots, I should say. Everything's a dupe slot, technically. Oh, he's still summoning uh, missiles. Oh, he's still summoning missiles. Pretty annoying room. Alright, beautiful. One, two, three. Those are the highest odds. Anything's possible, um, but those are the ones that are the high, uh, most likely. Let's full send. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, whatever. It's, it's dense damage scaling. Treasure 4 also? Yeah. I was robbed, bro. I was robbed. Robbed of glory. Imagine in the fucking Berenstain universe. The best timeline. That, that Haxa got this. He got the fucking Masterpiece dupe, and he's like, Oh no, guys, well, now the run's in jeopardy, but I'm still taking it. <laughs> That's what happened in the, the Baron Stain universe. And we are stuck in this cursed Baron Stein universe. The worst timeline. Ah! Yeah. You thought I was coming to you? What do you think this is, dog? Think I'm a fool? I know your tricks. Run away from that enemy. That's the best way to beat him. Whenever he's casting a scary skill, just run. Wait a minute, he'll jump to you. Easy dodge move. Uh, and you can just avoid his scariest moves that he's going to be doing. It's my favorite way to fight him. Sure, it's slow. Sure, it's tedious. But that enemy has earned uh, the right, I guess. To have a slow and tedious fight. One well, on the bright side about my decision to leave the halfling in earlier, it paid off. Cause like there's still plenty of NPCs I would do want to see. But we already saw the slime, and that's usually the number one NPC, so like. Yeah. You know, now I actually just have the halfling if I need her. And with how scary this run is, uh, there's a good chance I may need her eventually. We do have this last resistance to make this a little safer for me. Do not give them the barrier, please. Drop the boulders on us. Alright, boulders. Thank you. It's like, I, I want nothing to do with your dumb-ass barriers. It's like, the barriers pretty much just make the adventurers, like, immune to damage. In my experience, it's like... It doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. Okay, I need to focus. I can lose my last resistance and it not be a big deal, though. I would rather lose it on um, Chimera than on these guys. Also, Mage uh, Airborne, and I lost it. Not great. Oh my god. Oh no! Dude. Why are my runs today so cursed? Ah. <sighs> Oh, I'm playing so badly. I'm playing so badly. Please don't kill me. I can't fucking see! Can't believe I lost my last resistance. Ah! And my reassembly. Please. Oh my god. Please heal me. Okay. Oh, wow. Um. 
Uh, yes. Very clearly I need it today. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened to me. This run's maybe a little too dangerous. I'm literally running, um... A fucking... A, an omen. I'm running, um... Uh, uh, ambition as well. I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure and then surprise Pikachu facing when I fail. I, I think guaranteed moving ahead now, we don't fight Dark Skull. It's like we're, we're aiming for an Alexander victory. Okay, we have the ability swapper here. That's good. Seed shot can take a fucking hike. I hope I get to keep multi shot. Okay, beautiful. Fix this though. What? Okay. All right. I just have to get through Chimera, and then we can get our last resistance back and have some semblance of normalcy. It also doesn't help that I don't have my masterpiece awoken yet on this run. Like, uh, the game has just not been kind in the Masterpiece department. Got another missile coming. dealt with most of them. Alright, we're out of here, I think. No, there's one left, but I'm gonna let all this shit blow up before I deal with them. I think I might have to get rid of this ambition. It's definitely something worth considering. If I'm keeping the omen, it's like, man. Alright, let's deal with this Frieza separately from everything else. Hey, I don't like this. I have to actually just dodge all these missiles. Use the wall. We also have a really nasty prefix here. What a nasty room. He didn't get to summon the other uh, tornado though. That's nice. I think we're going to be fine against this Chimera, as long as I play very carefully and respect Chimera. Oh! At least we have a bunch of shield. No, okay, I don't want to give you money. No money. 620? At the... He, he he steals like 200 gold from me here on average. I'll give him the money, though. Yeah, he stole like 200-some gold from me. Classic. It's all that enemy... It's all that NPC does, I'm telling you. Steals your fucking money. There's gotta be a Masterpiece item in here. With... Okay, yeah, there we go. With all this fucking money I have, I would be dumbfounded if there wasn't. Now we just buy as much Masterpiece as we can and sell it. No gotcha gaming for me. I have a very strict mission moving forward. I have to stick to it. Masterpiece and only Masterpiece. Dude, it's not that rare. <laughs> it's like, come on. Okay, if I were to sell something here, I, I think what I do here is I... I just buy, um, Revenge, I think. Yeah, I'm just buying Revenge. We got time to scale this Masterpiece le uh, Omen up. It's already given me a lot of damage. I need to, uh, play around surviving the Chimera fight. Please don't.
the good thing is, the positive thing is, uh, my skulls are very good. Um, we have a lot of damage percent. Although I'm generally not a proponent of raw damage um, hunter. I don't think it's, I don't think it's usually the right way to build him. But if we can get our damage high enough, it won't matter. Like he'll just destroy everything. Generally, I say if you're playing hunter build crit items. But I, I don't think it'll matter here. <laughs> Especially if we can just get certain items, like, still holding out for Olive Tree Cudgel. I think I need to sell Spirit of Negotiator on the way out here. I hope I have enough money. That's going to hurt, though. Because we're going to be very poor for the next shop if I do that. I think it costs, like, 3k here to sell it. Oh, I guess I could just keep Spirit of Negotiator. It's very powerful. I think it's good enough to keep, especially because, like, we still need Masterpiece. Yeah, I think I'll keep it. I need Mutant, too. Mutant, for sure, is a thing I need. Okay, calm, careful. Okay, yeah, I think we're fine. Despite some misplays on my part. Yeah, okay, good camera fight. Lost all of my shield though, which sucks, but I guess it'll be fine. Masterpiece. Nope. But there is good stuff here, but I don't think it's stuff I can fit on my build. This goes well with my mana eater, but even then. Like, we're not struggling in the damage department. I think I break a legendary because I'm going to need a lot of money. It's possible I sell my ambition here. How much damage percent is it giving me? F uh, we're at 14. 5 times 14. 70? Skill cooldown by 3%. Uh, it's so hard to get rid of it. I'll just take a last resistance here. I think we'll continue moving forward with what we got. Oh my god, both of my skulls are still at unique. I thought at least one of them was at legendary. Oh man, we're behind in bone shards too. Man, what is this run? <laughs> Why can't I catch a break? Give me a fucking break, bro. Please. I can't catch a break today on these skull runs. The game is being very cruel. There's still a lot of NPCs I can see that will help though. And like, we're so powerful now on my hunter. Okay, you need to go. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Still a rare, but... What are you gonna do, man? The game has to start giving me some good uh, skull luck, or else I'm probably not uh, even getting slightly into my Arachnus sh uh, shrines at all. Like, I definitely awakened both of these skulls to legendary, but my shrines are gonna be terrible. Is th If that's Halfling, I'm freeing her. Okay, no, it's Spokesman. I need to see the remaining one, and I need to see the, uh, the Harpy, I think. Uh, max HP, please. The worst thing. That literally doesn't help me at all. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Max HP would have been just the best. Okay, nice. 
Great Sage's time doing good work. God, I love multi-shot. Oh, I love it so much. Uh, I'll... No, no, no. It still makes sense to take a item room here. Bye. Hi. <laughs> oh, that'll never get old. So, oh, there's our heart up for you. Okay, okay. Things are looking a little better, maybe. In the skull shard department. But to justify this uh this masterpiece uh, omen that I have, I need more damage. So the game needs to cooperate a little bit more in there. I'll take these bone shards. I know I shouldn't be spending my money on things. Okay, I'm resetting the fucking room. Go ahead, say hacks a moment. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't even blame myself, though. I fucking pressed the fucking button to pick it up. The game just didn't register it for some godforsaken reason. What? What? It rerolled the same fucking items. What the hell? What? Uh, okay. All right, game. Whatever. Made me waste one of my rerolls. Uh, sure. That's that's a thing. Where's my masterpiece? Uh huh. My masterpiece. How much does this cost? I'd have to sell something to buy a masterpiece on the pedestal. I'd probably just break one of my masterpiece items. Although I like all of them. And let's just save our money. I mean, we got one more. It's good enough, I guess. Go away. At least we're strong. Like, we're doing a lot of damage. And also, I have more max HP than it looks. Thanks to my shield. I have 224 max HP. Not horrible, not a comfortable number for me in my current, you know, and also I'm, I'm probably not going to have that at the Alexander fight because like you lose it against the dark hero and then, um, you know, you don't get it back. There's only like three more room transitions after that. And also there's shield destruction in the dark hero fight itself on the meatball. I know, I'm very nervous about Alexander. I have to play off my gourd. And I don't know if I got that dog in me tonight. My runs have been disastrous so far. And I say runs plural because this is not my first attempt at recording. No masterpiece. The thing is about rare chests, I have, make, if not every rare masterpiece item, I have most of them. I don't have the champion's belt. So, like, rare chests are pretty useless. And also, this is a really, really awful uh, adventurer to see. He has so much max HP. On the bright side, we do do a lot of damage. How were you unstoppable there? I really shouldn't be using this skill. Honestly, I say this every time I play Monkey, and I never follow it. I think I'm going to start following it moving uh, forward. I'm not using my secondary skill on Monkey. I'm going to make a conscious effort not to, because like it's all Heaven or Slam. Uh, that's all that matters. Uh, the other skill traps me in place and makes me take damage. It's just actively bad. The only way I would use it is if I had uh, Mana Tech. And I don't. God, that did 31. How is he unstoppable? I'll use it here.
Man, dude. I fucking hate that fight. And he gave me no healing either. Gotta use some of this to heal. If not, all of it. That all do, I guess. Now we have Legendary on this, which is a much bigger upgrade. Um, I don't need damage. I need skill cooldown. So let's do this. Look at this. It's pitiful. I can use it here. This enemy doesn't attack. At least we're fucking strong, man. Like, we're dealing giga damage. Like, we are uh, definitely not struggling in that department. It's just like resources, basically, is like the big killer on this run so far. And honestly, low max HP. And really just the omen in general. Like, as good of an omens as this is, I'm a strict uh, proponent of omens are just challenge runs. No matter how good the omen is. Like, you take an omen to make your run more interesting slash challenging. Another rare chest. Or a rare skull pile. Very unlucky. Okay, Shadow Knights is good. I will happily take Shadow Knights. It's especially good on damage percent runs. Which we are. About as good of a damage percent run as you can hope for, so. Turn around, please. Not in the mood of dealing with you guys. So much so that I stopped there. Not normally something I'm gonna do. But I did it there. I'm even gonna hide. It's like, I'd just rather not deal with your dumbasses, okay? Good talk. I'm tired of y'all. It's like, get out of this fucking tomb. What are you guys even doing? What are you even looking for? Alright, that's everything. Low roll on the chest. We only got 300 gold from it, so... <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? NBD. I also need to make sure I have enough money to get rid of um, the curse I have. Sadly, not a good item on the- Oh shit, I should have broken it. Fuck. Misplay. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Probably time to say goodbye to the mana eater. I don't have mana cycle. It's just sitting here. And we have all the feats immediately, which is nice. I'm happy. It gave me max HP too. Okay, that was a really good pickup, actually. Masterpiece. Keep going. One more. One more. So much good shit. I'm not taking any of it, though. I kind of want to get Courage for, Though, actually, unironically, and I think I'm going to do it, I think this is a great use case for taking the fruit from the Witch. I, I think, because, like, it gives me max HP, and I desperately, desperately want max HP. Like, I actually think I'm going to take the, um, the Apple over Courage for. We'll just float an awkward Courage 3 and be happy with it. But, like... Olive Tree Cudgel was a huge, huge, huge pick. Massive. I don't think I could have asked for much better, aside from Masterpiece items, but... We're already getting a lot of damage value out of our Masterpiece Omen, so it's like, it's doing its job. I definitely missed the Man Eater, though. It was doing good damage. We don't even have a go-getter, too. It's just a good item. Oh, I need like 4,000 gold to uh, sell Spirit of Negotiator at the end. I also have to consider if it's even worth doing. I might just end up taking it to the end. What would I take instead? I mean, I would 
love to have um, Go Getter on this run. This again, but it's too late for it. Shout outs will do here. Okay, the shout outs are just so, so, so strong. They killed everything. Oh, I love them. No masterpiece. It's looking like we're not maxing this regardless. If I get a masterpiece item in the Joan chest, I can only take it to eight. And if I sell Spirit of Negotiator, which I may not at this point, um, I can get it to 10 if I'm lucky in the Act 5 shop. What would I get rid of instead? I actually could be a use case for getting rid of Collection Desire. Because we're already getting enough damage off of just the Masterpiece Omen. Although losing any damage is bad, obviously. Hopefully you guys have seen the value in Hunter regardless of how this run turns out though. Like, and Monkey for that matter. Monkey's doing a good job too. These shoutouts also about to be doing a good job. Get him. Her. I'm just going to take it. I want out. You thought you had me there, Joan. You thought I was going to be a patient man. Little did you know who you were dealing with. No masterpiece. This is just fucking insane. <laughs> what, a, what a rude run. Alright, how much damage did I lose from Collection Desire? 150. Of my four, 1464. I think Go Getter's worth it. It also gives me some max HP back. And I have enough money, I think. I do. Uh, if I sell here, I still have enough money with Spirit and Negotiator. Rare run where I get rid of that. Uh, I think I stop here, though. The Bakanudo min-max that he told me is, um... Like, the, uh... The extra stuff I get from, uh... My, um... My... Ambition is more valuable than the extra 15%. Because it's universal amplification and, um increase like we're a little lower than we were but it's not enough to matter i think uh getting rid of collection desire made sense just a pathetic arachna shrine i don't think i've seen a arachna shrine that bad in ages although i had some pretty bad ones on my twitch stream the other day All right, here's my last chance for Masterpiece. Last call. There's so many Masterpiece items I don't have, by the way. <laughs> wild. Absolutely wild. I have no words. Um, What's my antique? Is there anything here I could stand to get rid of? One of the Courage items. I could get rid of one of the Masterpiece items. For a wheel. I think I'm going to do that. Last second edition. Now we have uh, a little more max HP. We also have... Um, more damage, I think. I can pick it up and check. It also... Actually, it lets me break this. Actually, that was just a smart play in general. I'm glad I saw that. 1278 versus 1260. Yeah. I, I I was not even thinking about breaking the uh, the thing there. All right, we got a little bit more damage. Here's my kit. It's a good kit, uh, despite the the shenanigans of the game. I think this run stands a good chance of beating uh, Alexander. If I can just uh, keep my head in the game in the Stark Hero fight. I need to keep my last resistance. It's 100% necessary. And I also wouldn't mind keeping most of my shield, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see, though. 
Like, I might game off my gourd here. I am getting that haze brain, though, that I talk about whenever I'm streaming. Because I've been recording for a while. It's supposed to be my day off, but I fucked up this week and, uh, misscheduled an episode, so I have to record on Thursday. But I think we'll be okay. I'm looking at my clock. That's why I fell. I'm recording on a time crunch here. I think I'll make it, though. All right. Time to just go into a focus stasis here. I missed. Good focus stasis. I'm going to take this very seriously. I want this win after the nightmare uh, runs that I've had to do today. Or just two runs. I'm not going to make it seem like I've done like a million runs and I'm so bad that I can't win at Skull, but this is not my first attempt, so... I really wish I had Mutant. He's probably going to jump? Nope, not yet. Definitely lost a little too much shield for now. Like, more than I would have liked to have, but like, we can make it back. Oh, almost fucked up there. I need to stop using that skill. I said I wouldn't use it. I just thought he was stunned and it would be safe. All right, I'm definitely Shadow Knighting immediately as soon as it starts. I don't think there's any chance that he retains enough HP to not immediately go into phase two. Shoot him, shoot him, swap. Okay, he's stunned, so it's safe. Stunned, so it's free. Try and land here. Oh, he's unstoppable. Now he's not. Oh, oh, he's glitching. He's glitching. He skipped the roar. He's going. To, he's in phase two right now, though. He may do it later. This is something he does if you deal too much damage to him. Now he's going to siphon. He is definitely going into phase three here. But he might not get the chance. Nope. All right, beautiful. That's a really good hero fight. Although I did lose more shield than I wanted to, we still have shield, so... All right, I have to remember my Alexander stuff that I was talking about earlier in this run about hurling into the fucking, um, to the laser beam and having my HP shred immediately on monkey. Very serious threat. I need to be very careful about fa uh, swapping in phase one. We're getting a bunch of max HP here and some damage percent from the apple. I think my odds are good. Considering the despair... I felt earlier in this run when I lost in the Act 3 Adventurer fight and almost died. <laughs> I was I was actually sweating. I felt so fucking miserable. <laughs> this run has good odds now. Uh, it's basically a ring, but even better. We'll go up to 4... We actually pretty much go back to the damage percent we were at earlier. Gain some max HP. It also, I think, said attack speed. So, yeah. Good stuff. And also movement speed. I can tell I'm moving faster. Definitely using Shadow Knights in this first phase of Alexander. I'm more scared of this than I am of anything else that's going to be uh, happening during this. I'm going into my cryogenic stasis state of concentration. Although, I always say that and then I just keep yapping anyways, but maybe this time I'll commit. <laughs> I'm just a yapper. What can I say? Alright, bozo. I'm not too... Actually, you know what? Today you're threatening, so I'm not going to make fun of you. Oh, he already has begun. At least I'm out as the monkey when this starts, so I can swap to my hunter safely. Okay, I can swap here. If I'm already on the other side of it, it's not a big deal. Swap, please! Good. Okay. Alright, now we're fine. We can swap as much as we want.
Beautiful. I think phase one Alexander is pretty much over. Like all the most threatening moments I think are past. He's not moving. Okay, if you're just gonna stand there then <laughs> Okay. Good one, Alexander. Well done, dog. Alright. Here comes the big guy. The behemoth. And I still have shield. And I think I get more shield here if the game is kind. Shadow Knights! Okay, I gotta get my head in the game. He's doing the thing. I stopped this thing from doing whatever it wanted to do. I'm trying to spam swap. Ouch. Did the game give me more shield? Uh, people who were paying attention, let me know. I'm curious. I'm taking a lot here. Gotta be very careful of the rift. Here it comes. Alright, we passed it. Okay, this is looking really good, guys. Aw, oh, dude, we almost got him before he got to, uh, do anything. Okay. Monkey is a little dangerous here. If I swap too close to the ground. Oh, we have Shadow Knights? I think it's over. I don't know if he goes into Cuphead here. Oh, he does not. <laughs> this is looking real good. I don't know what my HP is at. I think it's good. I know I took a little bit there at the end. I don't know how much I took. I think I'm still way above the red. I should have my Heaven Earth Slam immediately available. No Shadow Knights, but that's fine. We'll have it eventually. Oh yeah, we're, we're very good. Ow! This actually does no damage. I don't get what it's supposed to be. Is it just like a lore move where it's like he might do his ultimate here or like the scary move? Yeah, here it comes. Ooh. When he starts laughing. Oh, he's beating the shit out of me, but I don't think it matters. The only thing this run is missing is um is um it's it's missing mutant. I, I have been spamming the fuck out of um out of mutant swap and i could never get it but also ggs guys uh that wasn't even close actually i don't think this beats dark skull though i'm not good enough at the dark skull fight i'm glad i didn't fight dark skull here but i am glad that i uh brought this back to a victory hopefully i convinced actually we should do the let's go home screen before i start ranting um i still don't know how to break this one screen unfortunately get the shadow Knights in it they're mvps I'm going to swap into my monkey here. Okay, so the win... Uh, let's go home already happened, so now we can go dunk on uh, old Alexander here. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sure a lot of people thought I was done for in the Act 3 adventures, but, like, we brought it back. It's how we do. Well, you know what? No more showboating. Let's just go. Under swap into the void. Decent windscreen. It's kind of cool looking. You have the moon in the backdrop. You have the Shadow Knights. GG's. Uh, it's like as cool of a windscreen as I can currently do. <laughs> but I'm coping in saying that it's actually good. But, however, that was good. That was a good um, comeback run, I would say. A good, uh, a good, like, shit looked real fucking bad. And I, and I managed to bring it back from the brink. Um, I would say... Um, like the the olive tree cudgel was the turning point the amount of max hp it gave me on top of um the damage resistance and i don't know just like I, actually you know what the turning point was i truly think uh and the mvp of this run is a spirit negotiator i'll say that spirit negotiator was just like so uh so instrumental in getting me all the tools i needed to to at least scale this thing up to a decent level not a max scale but, like, can we just acknowledge how fucking rude this run was? Look at my items, okay? 
two of these i almost never bring these to the end of the run even though it's good i have a fucking um bone of madness which is a good item but like it's kind of out of place on this run brawl was definitely doing its part for sure but like across the board like these are not items i generally take to the end like <laughs> this run was so stingy i even have the the legendary here i don't know how much this saved me it may have even gave me the run. I don't know. You guys can keep track of it if you'd like. But uh, I think this was a good item to have. And also, this was another turning point, I would say, is when I picked this up. I picked this up in the Act 3 Adventurers. This run easily could have died in the Act 3 Adventurers, too. Like, uh, very nearly did. I, I, there's just... Fuck, dude. I still, to this day, I hate the Adventurers. I think more than anything. Like, now that I'm used to Alexander, like, I'm not that scared of him. He's still a scary fight, but, like, I'm not that scared of him. I still quiver in fear uh, of the Act 4 adventurers. And even the Act 3 adventurers can be a huge pain. So, you know. The devs can add as many fights as they want into this game. I think I'll even eventually feel that way about Dark Skull. <laughs> like, just, man. Nothing holds a torch to how annoying the uh, adventurers are. They're the real final bosses of Skull. They should have been the true final bosses. I was talking about this on Twitch, but it's kind of weird that they never played another prominent part in the story. Like, the way the 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 first, um, like, the normal mode ends, it makes it seem like they're going to be a huge part moving forward. Because it's like, they they want revenge for what Lil Bone did to the hero. But then they never come back again. Like, literally ever. They're not even involved in the Demi King Castle invasion. Which, I mean, makes sense for their characters. They wouldn't do it because the hero wouldn't do it. I I guess. The hero is the one who laid siege. I don't know. Maybe why weren't they there? The, like that, when I said that out loud, I started thinking about like the times that the hero, you know, like very clearly expressed his hatred of demons. <laughs> so it's like he hated demons. They probably would hate demons too. They don't seem to like him very much based on what they say. So where the fuck were they? Southpaw. Maybe they're going to be uh, in a spinoff game. Who knows? I think the adventurers are one of the stronger characters in this game. Like obviously the hero is like just the coolest he's the, why am i ranting about this in the outro i'm, I'm going to continue my thought but this is why my outros suck um the the hero is the coolest character by far like i i would even go as far to say he's the only truly good character in this game that like i i just think is well written and really really cool and interesting but the adventures are like the second place for me none of the demons are really fleshed out skull's cool but he's like a silent protagonist the the most fleshed out characters come from carleon and the hero is like an actual good character and then you have the adventurers which are just kind of like they're, they're like the side characters in like a shonen where it's like they all have like very strong personality quirks but like other than that they're just like there <laughs> okay that's all i got uh sorry for the fucking rambling but hopefully you guys enjoyed the run i enjoyed doing it for you despite the stress um early on in the run by the end we sealed the deal and it became a very good run so good stuff thank you guys for watching i appreciate y'all and i will see you again in the next one Bye-bye.